So what is a timer in Flows for Apex? A timer is an event that kicks off after a certain amount of time. You can utilize a timer event at multiple stages in your process model. For instance, you could use a timer event to kick off your process model by using a timer start event. You can also use a timer intermediate catch event to delay your process model in execution. And if you put a timer event next to an event-based gateway, then after that timer kicks off first, that path will then be chosen by the event-based gateway. If you put a timer on top of a task, that timer can either be interrupting or non-interrupting. Non-interrupting, it has dashes around it, and if it's interrupting, it has a solid line around it. In our sample app, Expense Claims, we have also utilized a non-interrupting timer event to notify somebody after a certain amount of time. As you can see here, specified in the Properties panel. So in case you're wondering about the syntax you can use here, I suggest you go over to our documentation and click on Timer Syntax. There you have a pre pretty comprehensive documentation about the various possibilities. You can even use a process variable in our Properties panel if you like to. One side remark I do have, before you can start using timers, you have to first execute this script in SQL Workshop. If you're running it in apex.oracle.com, that's the only thing you have to do. And that makes sure that a job is created in the database that fires every 10 seconds to check actually if a timer event occurred or not. If you have your own Apex environment, make sure that you first grant create job to your workspace schema. And after that, you run this script also. It's only one time only, and after that, your timers will work. 